We are Uma and Bala from Coimbatore. We are in our 60s. We took up bird watching and bird photography after retirement. What an exciting world opened up for us. Being senior citizens ourselves, we thought we would share our birding experiences with other senior citizens too through these videos. Each one has photographs and videos taken by us and talks about one bird. Even youngsters may find it interesting. This is the fifth of the bird series. Happy birding! This bird is the small green bee eater, roughly the size of a sparrow. A close-up view and we see a bit of orange on the head, a bit of blue on the neck and yellow-green all over. Red eyes with a streak of black across it and also a black necklace. The arrow points to the central tail feathers that are drawn out into blunt pins or streamers. While choosing pictures for this video, we were amused by the contradictory impression we got from the photos. On the one hand, it is dainty and fluffy like a colorful whiff of cotton candy. A cute, stuffed, soft toy look. On the other hand, it appears fierce with its blood red eyes, its black Zorro mask, a real bad bandit look, complete with a dagger beak. Insects, I'm sure, agree with this version. The two birds on the twig are adults. And the one that flies in is a juvenile. The adults, if you see, have the blue in the neck. The young one doesn't. The pintail feathers are also missing in the juvenile. These feathers are seen clearly on the adult to the left, but missing in the right one, probably lost during nesting in sand burrows. Bee eaters are gregarious, which means they like company. We see them in our locality in small numbers of three or four. This is one of our favorite shots. Three healthy, fully grown adults with long pin tail streamers and blue necks. Three musketeers posing for a photo shoot. Goes without saying, bee eaters eat bees, also other insects. But how did they not get stung by the bees? Apparently, they catch the bee or any other insect in flight, then come back to their perch, hammer it on the branch to remove the sting or hard bits of skin before swallowing it. This adult has caught a nice juicy dragonfly just after the rains. The juvenile knows what it wants and gets it on demand. A familiar scene in our world too, don't you agree? It may not be possible to get rid of the entire hard skin of the insects before eating it. These birds are known to regurgitate or spit out the skins of the eaten insects as hard pellets. Watch this splendid display in slow motion. Pleated orange yellow green wings and pleated yellow green tails that spread in flight and closes abruptly on landing. Reminds one of those lovely 
charming Japanese fans that spread open beautifully and then smoothly snaps shut. We have also come across three other types of bee eaters, all equally eye-catching and colorful. Someone nailed it perfectly when they named them. The blue tail bee eater with its flashy blue tail. The chestnut headed bee eater, its head glowing bright reddish brown in the sunlight. And the blue bearded bee eater with its blue chin feathers flowing like a beard in profile. We spotted the uncommon blue bearded bee eater at the foothills of a mountain on this branch with the river running far below in the valley. Watch the next video with the bird and experience a few seconds of tranquility. So, how do you see the small green bee eater? Look wise, adorable or as a villain? Farmers too have a similar dilemma. They have to choose whether the green bee eater is a hero or a villain. After all, it eats a variety of insect pests, so it must be a hero to them. But it also eats bees and bees pollinate and therefore it must be a villain to them. Luckily, studies show that the number of bees that they eat is significantly small. Small enough that crops are not affected. So cheers to our little hero, the small green bee eater. Thank you, we'll be back.